One of my favorite aunts when I was growing up uh, was a housekeeper for a man by the name of Tony Charmley, who was an Emmy-winning, very famous choreographer turned director. He was the choreographer on the Danny Kay show, the old Dinah Shore network show, a lot of uh, specials and things like that. So I grew up, he was like a member of our family. And my brother and my two cousins and I would spend summers with my aunt. Often we would arrive at the house, uh, get out of my aunt's car, get in the car with him and go to wherever he was uh, working at CBS or, or at NBC or one of the other studios. And so we, I spent time around there and I thought, well, this is pretty, pretty cool. This is something uh, that I'd like to, when I grow up, this is what I want to do. And so that's where I really kind of got bitten by the bug. Nobody else uh, was bitten by the bug, but I was big time and it never went away. How did you get your start in the industry? You went to college and studied communications, I think? Communication studies. I started as a, as a page at what was then called Golden West Broadcasters, part of KTLA in Los Angeles. They had studios there. We did game shows and talk shows and sitcoms. And so I, uh, I spent my college years ushering people in to see uh, Solid Gold or the Mike Douglas show or WKRP in Cincinnati, what's happening. The list goes on and on and on. And that's how I got my start. Being a page, is that how you got your next job? Most people don't get page positions until they're juniors or seniors. It was basically like an internship is uh, today. And I was fortunate because I was a freshman and, and I, I actually knew someone who got me into the program early. And so by the time I was out of school, I had developed a lot of relationships and met a lot of people uh, who had, for whatever reason, <laughs> were, were impressed on some level. Uh, and uh, so, I mean, at first I was in charge of the page group that I had been a member of for, for all of those years. Uh, I went from doing that to becoming an assistant unit manager, making sure that the clients um, have a good experience there, uh, dealing with their crew issues and their studio issues and its scheduling and, and things of that nature. Started to learn the ropes that way. And then uh, after about a year, a year after I graduated from college, um, I moved ac across the street to what was then uh, Metro Media Square. I think all of the family had moved there. Three's Company was shot there. Give Me a Break. Uh, Star Search was shooting there, incidentally, uh, directed by Tony Charvely, my aunt's boss, <laughs> um, and um, eventually became a unit manager. And then I uh, was hired to be executive in charge of production on a syndicated show called Our Magazine, hosted by Gary Collins, produced by Group W Productions. And I was executive in charge of production there. I think I was 20, 25 or 26, which was pretty young to be doing that. And Our Magazine had started at KTLA, uh, which was across the street where I worked before. And then it later moved to, uh, to Metro Media. And Marty Berman, who was the executive producer, said, there's a kid who used to work across the street uh, who was, uh, was a page. And, and can you get him to be like a page on our show? He was talking about me. And uh, they said to him, uh, well, uh, that kid, yes, he does work here, but he's going to be the unit manager on your show. <laughs> so um, I, was, I was reunited with Marty and my other friends from Mauer Magazine and Group W. And I became executive in charge of production there. And, and I did that for about two years, two and a half years. And then Marty Berman, who's from New York and was an old friend of Geraldo Rivera, decided that he was going to move back to New York to become executive producer on the Geraldo show. And he said to me, uh, you know, I, I, there's nothing here. There's, it, there, there's no structure. There's no system. There's, 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 there's nothing. You need to come and, and, and join me in New York. And I said, ah. No, really. Well, I'm from California. I have a new car. I got a girlfriend. I, I like my life here. I, I don't. I don't really want to leave. And plus, I, I don't think I'd like New York. I think I'd hate it. And he goes, "I understand that, but you need to listen to me. This will be good for you. You need to listen to me here and, and, and not not be a schmuck." That, those were his exact words. And uh, <laughs> um, you need to do this. If you don't like it, you can come back. I said, "Okay, I'll come for six months. I'll do a contract for six months because I know I'm not going to like it. I'm going to want to come home." I had just turned 28 when I went there and I was there six years and we had a great run together, a great experience there. And that sort of put me onto a different track because now I had this small production company to run uh, with a giant talent, with a, with a hit daytime syndicated show. And I was there until I, until I moved back to California. I took a job with Genesis Entertainment. It wasn't one of the top tier 
companies, but they were giving me an opportunity to head program development and production, which I thought was cool because I like I had production. And I thought down cold. I mean, I knew how to do that, but I always wanted to be in the programming game on the creative side of things. They were producing a talk show with Whoopi Goldberg. It was a late night talk show, one on one interview with her and and and, and a guest, and. So I thought, so that was great because I got to meet her and she was cool. Uh, I mean, really, I, I, I liked her a, a lot. Um, and we got to the point where we, the, we put the Whoopi show on the air and it wasn't really performing that well. What I had done was not, didn't pan out to, to be everything that, that, that I had wanted it to be. And at the same time, Geraldo was, was relentless in haranguing me for having left and, and uh, telling me, um, you, the place isn't the same. You, you, you left me high and dry. You stabbed me in the back. Um, you know, you, you need to come back here and, and, and help, help us, you know, uh, write this ship. That combined with the fact that my now wife, then fiance, wasn't loving it in L.A. Made me go, all right, well, I'm not getting everything that I want here. She's not happy. May as well go back. So I was out here six months uh, and then went back to New York and by then we were also doing now it can be told but that was fading so there was there was a lot to do shut that down and 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 kind of clean up everything that hadn't really been dealt with while i had been away so i i, I went back and we were there for six months well we were there for about two months and i got a call from jim Peratori, who ran telepictures part of the warner brothers group of companies who I had known and had been talking to for some time. And he said, yeah, I know you just moved back to New York, but uh, now I'm ready to, uh, to to make a change with my head of production. And I want that to be you. And I, I want you, so you, you're ready to come back to L.A. I was like, well, I just got back here. He goes, look, well, I don't, what can I tell you? I, I have the job now. You know, do you want it or, or, or do you not? Because if you want it, it's yours. And so I had to go to Geraldo and go, you know what? That coming back thing and all that, uh, um, I just got a call from, from Warner Brothers, and, and uh, it's a job that I kind of have always wanted. So I'm going to have to, like, go back to L.A. again. And he was, like, he was furious, uh, but he understood. And, um, and that's when I came to, to Warner Brothers, and I've been here ever since. <laughs>